I remember my daughter Fiona organising my 60th birthday party. Now, I got diagnosed when I was 58. So when I was 60, I was still not compus mentis. She organised this party in Cromarty, of all places, and everybody came to it, and all her friends came, and I was kind of... I didn't care whether there was a party or there wasn't a party. And I think I thought dementia meant you're going to die. I know when I get diagnosed, Nancy, it was totally different for me. The doctor that I worked with, he thought that maybe he would bring a part-time helper because I wasn't quite coping in his opinion, but he didn't say that. And I'm training Hazel up and showing her how to develop x-rays. And then 10 minutes later, I'm saying to her, Hazel, how do you do this? And then I started to get lost going to work and... I remember one day. Got yeah, I remember one day phoning up and saying, "Hazel, I'm standing at the big clock. Don't make fun of me. But how do I get to work? Now I'd worked there six years. Oh I'm a local girl. I know where I am, but I don't know where I am. How do you explain that mm, to no. people? And I, I just looked at it and says, "Don't even ask." So oh, we just dropped the whole gosh. subject. And how can you drop a subject? But we did. Oh, my God. And then. My boss started pulling me in. Agnes, are you stressed? No. Well, why are you behaving like that? And I'm saying, what do you mean behaving like that? I'm still the same. And then in the end up, he says to me, sorry, you need to go to the doctors. There's something seriously wrong. And don't come back until you're fixed. (laughs) I never worked after that. It was almost as if I allowed my brain to be sick. And by the time my consultant said, Agnes have you heard of dementia it was just nothingness my diagnosis and my journey and the outcome could have been so different and I would have I believe either committed suicide or been in fallen down that black void Mm. because there was nothing there what I was struggling with was the fear I wouldn't tell anybody about it because I was frightened Mm-hmm. There's so much about us that we do hold within us, you know, within ourselves that we don't talk to other people about. Yes, and I've seen you as a wise woman of dementia. Wow. You know, so you I'm taught me I'm not sure I can live up by, to that. <laughs> so you taught me by living your life. And then we also spoke about end of life. It was a celebration of what our life yes. was and of not to be crying over. The idea was that I was going to have a Kaylee. To yes. celebrate the end of my life. Mm-hmm. And I wanted a bonfire as well. Yes. And I wanted people smoking and drinking like it was a party. Yes. Everybody's going to die. It's no big deal, for goodness mm-hmm. sake. I think it's more important that we prepare ourselves for death. You know, that moment of death, they say in the Buddhist world, is a moment of revelation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm choosing to feel... Very positive about Good. my dementia. That's super. That's, and that was you. Yes. That you. You'd done that for that's me. Wonderful. You know. So thank you for being my friend. <laughs>